Hi guys, welcome to class. This class is designed for beginners. Okay, so um, anyone is welcome, but the aim is for beginners. Um, so yeah, but we'll adapt it. So hopefully lots of people can come. We are going to talk about favorite things. So your favorite color, your favorite sport, your favorite drink, your favorite anything. Yeah, so we're going to share experiences about our favorite things. Okay, so it should be quite interesting. We'll see who comes. In the meantime, we've got Anna already there talking. We have Lodelto, we have Jeffrey, and Anna again. Okay, so good. Hopefully you can all join us. Hopefully we can speak. Okay, so uh, we'll see who comes. Samir says hi. Hi, Samir, to you as well. Hiba Yakub says hi. Hi to you as well. Okay, so you're all more than welcome. Feel free to join the class when you can, okay? As soon as you can, press the Join Now button, okay? So, uh, have a little think before you come in. What are your favorite things? And then we will talk, then we will discuss. So hopefully, lots of people come. In the meantime, please all add me on Facebook, okay? Martin Stoner Verbling. And then we can talk in between classes. Some people wrote me messages just now. I will reply after class. Okay, I'll reply. Don't worry. I just noticed. Okay, so hopefully you can all join very, 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 very soon. And we have someone. We have Robert. How are you, Robert? Hello. I'm fine. <laughs> cool. Nice to speak with you. Uh, could you repeat, please? Nice to speak with you. Uh, well, uh, well, I'm a Spanish. I'm a Spanish. I'm from Span uh, Spain. Cool. Which part of Spain? What's your city? Yes, uh, I I live in Mataró, which is near to Barcelona, more or less. At... Not too far from Barcelona. Cool. Yeah. Okay. And how long have you been learning English? Yeah, my first conversation was uh, on, in February. And my my first sentence was, uh, "I'm looking for a job." Okay, I'm looking for a job. Yeah, so and now, you can, now you can say more things. Now you can say more things. So it's good. Yeah, okay. I'm making an effort a lot to learn this language. Perfect, Robert. Okay, nice to nice to meet you. Hopefully, you learn a lot. Okay, Zechariah, can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Cool. And where are you from? I am from Turkey. Cool. And which part of Turkey? Uh, Izmir city. Could you write this down? Yes, uh, near the agency, Izmir near city. The agency. Cool. Okay, so welcome. Nice to meet you, Izmir city. Okay, so Zakaria, nice to meet you. How long have you been learning English? Uh, about six months. Six months? Wow, okay, so not, not so long. So that's, that's I cool. love... I learn lots of things, but uh, I want to speak uh, its speaking ability. No problem. Okay, so today we're going to have lots of speaking. So hopefully you'll get a good opportunity. Yeah, so lots of opportunities to speak. And we have Slava. Hi. Nice Welcome. To meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm computer engineer from Ukraine. Wow, cool. Um, and, and which part? Kiev or another city? Uh, another small city. I live in the south of U Ukraine. Great. Okay. Uh, not far from the Black Sea. From the Black Sea. So nice weather and things like that. Yes. Yeah? So it's a nice place near the Black Sea. Okay. So Slava, welcome. How long have you been learning English for? I've been studying English in university twenty years ago. And so at university. At university. At university. And uh, then I had a gap, a gap uh, for 20 years. And uh, mm -hmm. I started, uh, I continue, started to continue uh, my studying one year ago. One year ago, yeah? So after 20 years. But it sounds like you can speak quite well. Yeah? So, okay. Someone's not happy, someone's not happy with my class. <laughs> okay, cool. Samir, nice to speak to you again. Nice to speak to you. Thank you. Cool. 
Okay, so I already know you, uh, and Abdul, I already know you, and Frank already know you. So um, you can just say your name and where you come from, you guys. Uh, but don't worry about uh, doing the, the, the thing. So Samir, just say your name in the correct pronunciation and where you come from, for the others. Uh, my name is Samir Suleiman. I'm from Saudi Arabia. And just out of interest, Samir, we've spoken before, but how long have you learned yes. English? How long have you been uh, learning English? I learned, I learned English when I was uh, 12 years. I learned in intermediate school, but I don't practice. That's my problem. Okay, yeah, so you learnt it when you were young, but yeah, not practicing the speaking and stuff. Yes. Okay, we also have Robert, there we spoke. Nguyen. Nguyen, can you hear us? Or Tan? Okay, we'll come back to you. Check your mic, mic settings, we'll come back to you. Frank. Hi, how teacher. Are you, how are you, Frank? I'm doing fine, thank you for asking. What about you? I'm not too bad, not too bad. Nice to speak with you again. Frank, how long have you been learning English for? I don't know if I've asked you this question before. Altogether, uh, 10 years, but with many stops between, between the study. Okay, yes, so 10 years. Esther. Nice to meet you, Hello. Esther. Nice to meet you. Which one is you? Um, In the picture. Which, are you the middle one? With the tongue out? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this one, yeah? Okay. So, nice to meet you, Esther. Nice to uh, meet you. Wh where are you from? I'm from Spain. Cool. And which part? Uh, I, I live in Madrid. From Madrid. Okay. So, uh, not so close to Robert. Robert's near Barcelona, yeah? So, from the yeah. two big cities. Okay. So, Esther, how long have you been learning English for? I started uh, learning English uh, uh, six months ago. Wow, okay, so like, like Zachariah, yeah? So, okay, that's, that's cool, yeah? So six months. Guys, how do you learn so much in six months? I don't understand, yeah? So, okay, we, we had to do things like French at school, yeah? So we learned French, and after three years, we could basically just order a croissant in the, the restaurant, yeah? So I don't understand this. This is interesting, okay? This is good. Um, Abdul, what about you? How long have you spoken English for? Uh, about uh, two, three years. Forty years, did you say, Abdul? Forty? No, 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 not at all. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> oh, well, what, sixty, Abdul? Sixty? Uh, no, I, yeah, am, years. I am still a little kid. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So twenty years. Twenty years. Okay. So Abdul two, is years. like two, two Abdul, three years. Almost as like me. Yeah. So speaking for twenty years. Okay. So Abdul, good to speak with you again. Yeah. Um, but uh, yep. I've been learning English from last two, three years. The main thing, yeah? So you've heard English and stuff, but you've studied English for the last two or three years. Yeah. yeah that's cool. We have also, uh, Nguyen said she's ready now. Are you ready? Go, 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 go. Are you there? Yeah, I'm ready. Perfect. Nice to speak with you again. Yeah, thank you. How are you? Not too bad, not too bad. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine, but so busy. <laughs> You're busy? What, what are you up to? Yeah. Uh, what are you up to? Plus, um, I'm doing my uh, graduate thesis. Okay, yes, yeah, so you've got a lot of yeah. studying to do and stuff like this. Okay, so good luck, Nguyen. Um, and how long, sorry, I asked you this question before, but how long yeah. have you been learning English? Uh, I start, started learning English. Uh, uh, from uh, secondary school. Secondary school and things. Okay, so yeah. Welcome. But, you know, I'm not. I, I'm not practice more, so yes. my English is not good. It's difficult, guys. I don't know what it's like in your country, but it's often difficult to practice. Yeah, so find an opportunity. Yeah. I had this with German. So in the UK, I, I learned German. It's difficult to find something to practice with sometimes, unless uh, the internet is a good way. Um, yeah. Okay, so. Uh, Nong, nice to meet you. Okay, we can't hear you just yet. Check your microphone settings, okay? Can you hear me? Yes, perfect. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. And where are you from? Yeah, I'm from Vietnam. We've spoken before, I think, yeah? Have we spoken before? Mm, yes, I... I um, have one 
one time spoken to you. But... Perfectly. So welcome back, yes. Nong. Welcome back. Nice to yes. speak to you again. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Nice yeah. Cool. So in today's session, we're going to talk about favorite things. So favorite music, favorite sports, favorite subjects, favorite anything. Okay. So this is the topic. Okay. So I'm going to ask you all questions in turn. Like, what is your favorite? Mm, yeah, and we're going to talk about this. So, uh, let's start easy. Zachariah, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is red. And why red? Why red? That's interesting. I don't know. I uh, look the color and uh, in my uh, brain. Okay, and you, you look at the color and your brain associates it with what? Yes, yeah? so my brain associates it with. Oh, wait, I'm not writing it. One second. My brain, I'll write this down for you, associates it with. What does it associate it with? For uh, example, yeah? I Do don't you know. Understand? Okay, for example, I, if I see red, I think of Valentine's Day, I think of romance, but I also think of blood. Yes, so these are my associations. Yeah, associations. So I associate red with romance, violence. Yeah? Do you understand? Yes, my brain associates it with with what with with the red is good with uh yeah something positive yeah so i associate red with positivity you can say yeah so i associate red with positivity or happiness yeah happiness something like this so i associate it with also you can say the connotations of red are the connotations of red are happiness for you, love, uh, violence. These things you think about when you see red. Connotations and associations. Zechariah, do you understand? Yes. Uh, when I see the red color, uh, the connotations of red... Connotation. Hmm. The connotations of red are beautiful. Beauty, yes, yeah, so the connotation is beauty. beauty uh, yeah, okay, so if I showed you, for example, a uh, random thing, so look at this. What's the connotations of this? When you see this, what do you think of? Uh, the connotations of apple is delicious. Okay, uh, the, uh, my association with an apple is that it's, it's delicious, yeah, or I associate apples with eating or with something like this. The connotations, what you think of. So that, that's cool. Slava, what's your favorite color? Uh, well, my favorite color is uh, blue, I think. Light blue. Okay. It's uh, so shades with uh, blue sky and uh, blue sea. Uh, the, I like uh, silent uh, sea and uh, 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 good weather. That's why I. This is my favorite color. So I associate blue with sea, with blue sky, things like that. Yes, yeah? so that's, that's cool. That's that's good. Um, Samir, what would you say? What's your favorite color? I think it depends. Uh, when I wear, uh, I wear t-shirt or any clothes. I don't like a bright uh, color like orange. Or <coughs> But uh, for me, I, I like uh, the color of gray. Gray, and okay. More and mauve. I like mauve. So uh, gray and things like this. By the way, it, technically, this is a shade. Yeah, this is, to be pedantic, they say uh, colors and shades. Yeah, so you you prefer not colors. You prefer shades like blacks and grays and things. Yeah. Yes, gray. Uh, like that. Okay. What are the connotations of Gray. Gray. Yeah. Connotations of gray. Connotations of gray. 
I think uh, wolf. Wolf is gray. Gray. Did you say life? Life. What? What did you say? The connotations, yeah? So, for example, the connotations of red are romance. Um, uh, Zachariah said uh, happiness, things like this. They're his connotations. Yes. What are your connotations? What are your associations of grey? Of grey, yes. I think, I think it is happiness. happiness. Okay, yeah. So, your associations with great happy. When you see, it's not about everyone's connotations, everyone's associations. It's when you see this, what do you think? When you see, what's the first thing you think of? How do you recognize it? That's uh, con uh, associations and things. Okay, so that's, that's cool. Robert, what's your favorite color? Yeah, well, um, uh, I don't have any favorite color, but... Uh, preference. Uh, I don't have any <laughs> preference. Um, black, for example, it's my favorite color. Okay, and why so? Why black? Well, so um, I um, normally I I wear uh, clothes with this color. So normally I associate. So, uh, what do you associate black with? When you see black, what do you think of? Yeah. Pff, well, I. Um, I don't associate with with nothing, but <laughs> you can say that. You can say I don't associate with anything. Yes, yeah? so you can say that. That's a answer. Or what you, uh, by the way, you can say if you see in the verbling chat box, I don't have a preference, meaning I don't have a favorite color. If I said, "What's your favorite food?" I don't have a preference, meaning it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. I don't um, have a preference. My favorite food, for example. No. Do you have a preference? Do you have a preference for your favorite food? Do you have a favorite food? Yeah, for example, uh, I like to eat, uh, mm, well, all, all of food, all food. Everything, uh, everything. <laughs> everything, everything. I, 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 don't, I don't have any my favorite. Preferences, yeah, I don't have a preference. Yeah, nothing Pre specific. Preference. Nothing preference is something specific. I don't have a preference. Okay, okay preference. No. Uh, what's your favorite yes. color? My favorite color is red. Um, I think red is the color of strong, healthy, and vitality. Vitality and health. Yeah, vitality yeah. and health. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that. Um, uh, is often the color chosen by someone uh, uh, outgoing person, uh, and uh, uh, I think uh, yes. So these are your associations, guys. I'll tell you the difference quickly between association and connotation. Association is something you can say I associate it with my opinion, but connotation is more general. So, the connotations of apples are that they are healthy, yeah? It's general opinion, but when I see an apple, I think not particularly interesting, but I eat it, yeah? So, that's my association, something that's not so, so interesting to eat, yeah? So, um, did you understand, yeah? Yeah. So, Nguyen, what would you say? Yeah. Tan, Tan, I I think my favorite uh, favorite color is the same with uh, as flower, uh, and I like I like blue, and uh, you know um, blue uh, blue is um, belong to peace, and Not it's belong fish. to yes peace. I like peace. You like fish, and, yes. Yeah. So you associate it with fish, yeah? So blue, you associate it with fish. Uh, you know, um, it's um, the blue color is belong to um, peace. It's belong to quiet, and uh, it's belong to maybe um, it's belong to fresh. Uh, uh, um, the color of the sky, and I like it. Okay, let's talk. And I like, I like peace. Yes. So I associate yeah. it with the sky, I associate it with fish, yes? Yeah? So that's interesting. Peace, yes. The, the most important is peace. <laughs> that's, that's cool. 
Okay, wow. Well, Frank, can you hear us? Yes. Go for it. Indeed, um, not very different than uh, new gen. Uh, indeed, to me, blue is my favorite color because it's relaxing and get me good vibes. Gives me As good vibes. It gives me good vibes. Give, gives, gives, non get, not get. Yep. Okay. It gives me good vibes. Oh, I, oh, I get good vibes from it. You can say yes. Yeah? So ah, okay, okay. Thank you. Good vibes. Uh, a sense of peace, and uh, it reminds me of the sky, the sea, which are about nature, beauty, and purity. Okay. Cool. Okay. So you associate it with similar things. So uh, water and stuff. Um, Esther, what do you say? Well, uh, my favorite color is green. Okay, why so? Um, I I as, as, associate uh, the green color with uh, nature, uh, with ha happiness, positivity things, and and makes me feel. And with it. slime, yeah, with slime, something not so. Do you slime? Know slime. I'll show you the, this uh, slime. So one second. Or gunge, yeah, something like that. I associate green with. Okay, one second. I'll share my screen and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, this is my association of uh, green. This, ah, yes, things like this, yeah. So things no, like no, this. no, no, no. Uh, uh, green, green. Green, yep, yeah, green. Green, green. Yes. Green. So I associate it with with slime, yeah. Th this kind uh. of thing, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so you associate it with nature and, and stuff like that, yeah? Yes. Cool. Abdul, what's your favorite color? Uh, my favorite colors are basically three. White, oh, come blue. on. There's always one, isn't there? There's always one. No, no, no. If you ask me one, so I mean I cannot tell you one, two, three, but I equally like three out of three. Okay, what are they? White, blue, and red. Together, equally, I equally like you know I cannot white, tell white, you. Blue, uh, I like white, yeah. For example, I'm a fan of your your van, your truck, um, being white, yeah. I like white cars, yeah. If they're they're clean and stuff like that, I'm a fan. For example, white cars, but why the others? See, like uh, if I think about like the if if I see the red colors, so the first thing you know comes in my mind, you know about. Love about romance and uh, white color. You know, if if I look at the white color, so I mean naturally, you know, I start thinking about peace. Yep. About uh, you know, uh, clean and pollution-free environment. That's nice. Yes. Yeah? So and uh, completely clean. yeah, and you know, like. If if white is you know everywhere around in my bedroom you know like white bed sheet you know white pillow sheet so I mean I feel like more organized I don't know why but I feel like my bedroom is more clean and more organized. Okay, yeah. So for you, you associate it with calm, peace, and just yeah. So not not no not stress. But then red, you see it's a bit more fiery, yes, yeah? a bit more yeah. fiery. And, um, and what and, about blue? And and you know, like uh, if I'm not wrong, I mean, uh, white color is generally, you know, in in the world, people associate for the peace, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so it's like general perception, you know, if that the white color is for the peace. And blue is. Uh, I mean, I don't know, but I mean, I like that color. You know, it's it's a very beautiful. It's all color. right. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. So it depends on the shade. No, 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 not all right. It's a very beautiful color. Okay, it depends on what 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 shade. Yeah. So for example, I like blue as well. That's probably mm. my favorite color. But what shade? Dark navy blue or really light blue? Uh, the, uh, the blue uh, in your flag. The blue in my flag. Okay, yeah. So, okay, so this kind of like middle middle blue, yeah. So not yeah. completely dark, but yeah. So wait. Exactly. Kind of, what how what kind of blue is that? Yeah. So kind of dark blue, I guess. So this this kind of like light white. dark blue. Is it because you associate it with your flag, or is it because of you just like the color? 
no, 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 is a color. Not I do not associate it with a flag, but generally I think you know like actually I've just thought there's red, white, and blue in your flag. <laughs> I've just realised. Exactly. Both of our but flags. Like, but like. Uh, the color of like the blue color we have in our flag like you know when I look at that color so my eyes you know feel kind of relaxed you know yeah and I'd say the combination is quite nice yeah so the American flag so for those who don't know Abdul is living in America he's been living in America for a long time he's pretty American now yeah even with his attitude yes Abdul Yep. You're a convinced American. Okay, so Abdul is um, living in America. So we're just talking, his favorite colors are red, white, and blue. Okay, who do we have now? Osama, good to see you again. Hey, welcome back again. <laughs> cool. Uh, by the way, uh, we're just talking about favorite things and stuff. Uh, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is uh, blue. Again, like Abdul, yeah? So which shade of blue? Uh, dark blue, the kind of uh, the sky in the night. Okay, yeah, so the like the dark, darker blue and stuff. By the way, for those who didn't understand which shade of blue, um, could someone explain shade? Um, does anyone know? So, yeah, Zachariah, know. do you understand shade? Uh, no, I am looking for the dictionary. I think shadow, like. Okay, not quite, not quite, but Slava, do you understand shade? Honestly, I don't know no what does this mean. I'm looking uh, for in vocabulary. No I, I okay. think it's it's kind of a degree or something. Yeah. For example, uh, uh, shadow, shadow. I know shadow. Uh, not not quite. It's like um, I'm trying to give you two examples. Okay. So, um, okay, this is a good example. Okay. Wait. Uh, can you see my webcam? Okay. So I have a book here. This is a dark shade of blue. Dark. This is lighter, yeah? So these are two, they're both blue, but different shades of blue. Dark, light, shades, yeah? Yes. Uh -huh. Zechariah, was that clear? Uh, like a kind of color. Kind of color, yes. So uh, how dark, how light? For example, gray is a shade. It's a light black or a dark white, yeah? Gray is like a shade. Um, okay, so was that clear, Zechariah? Uh, sorry? Shade. shade. Yes, Did I understand shade, yes, I uh, understood. Okay. okay, so I'm assuming everyone... Esther, was that clear? Yes. Perfect. Okay, so, Osama, which shade of blue? So, dark blue. Yes, I prefer dark blue. Though sometimes I like the... Light blue too, I mean, uh, the color of the sea, of the sky, blue in general, let's say I love the blue in general. Okay, in general, and what are your connotations with blue, what do you think of when you think of blue? Oh, well, I think in peace, I find this peace and quiet and uh, just give you the mood of thinking and uh, philosophical, philosophical color thoughts. Okay, know. it's quite relaxing yeah. stuff, okay, that, that's cool. Okay, so, uh, did everyone answer, everyone answered I think. So, uh, Abdul, what's your favorite sport? Uh, my favorite sport is the one and only cricket. Of course, yeah. So you, you can take the you can take the boy out of India, but you can't take the India out of the boy. Okay, so <laughs> Abdul, why, why cricket? You know, like frankly, I'm not a good player. You know, of cricket, but you know, I love to watch cricket. Okay, yeah, so, um, and how much do you watch it, yeah, so I had a boss, um, an Indian boss, uh, who used to watch it all the time, literally, he would, he'd be in the shop, and he would never serve the customers, he would just be watching cricket, the only time he would work is when his wife came in, yeah, so, um, Abdul, how much do you watch cricket? Ball to ball. Sorry? Ball to ball. Ball to ball. I mean every ball in the hour. Every, yeah, all the time, all the time. Okay, so you're a fan. Um, did you used to play cricket? Uh, a lot in my school, in my college times, but I'm a very poor player. <laughs> okay, yeah, so are you a bowler or a, a fielder or a batter? Uh, I'm a bowler. You're a bowler. Can, can you bowl? Uh, yeah. We, had to, we did cricket as well at school, but I could never bowl, yeah, so I was more the fielder. Um, but 
Um, okay, do you do this at school, Abdul? Yeah, because this is a popular sport in the UK as well. Um, do you do it at school? Do you learn it at school, or do you just do it in your free time? No, I learn in school. Okay, that's cool. Okay, yeah. so has everyone heard of this this game, cricket? So, Zechariah, do you know this game, cricket? Uh, I have never played cricket, but I know on TV. Okay, so you've seen it. Slava, have you heard of it? Uh, I know uh, cricket uh, from uh, my English lessons. Okay, from English lessons. But yes, oh. I've never played it. Okay, that's interesting. Samir? Yes, I heard of it before. I think it is popular in a Commonwealth country. So, Commonwealth countries and things, yeah? yes. So, uh, the thing is, um, I went to France once and I was trying to buy a cricket bat, yeah? Because for some reason I wanted to play buy cricket. I went into the sports shop and there's no cricket. I was like, what? Yes, yeah, so what? <laughs> um, I, I was like, what is this? Country, you know, <laughs> but I, so I realized actually it's not so popular abroad, yeah. So in other countries, I guess. So, um, Osama, is cricket popular in Algeria? You're from Algeria, right? Yes, uh, in fact, Algeria almost all Algerians don't know what is cricket at all. Okay, so it's not, not so popular, that's interesting. Yes, no, the, well, the, the most popular sport in here is, of course, football, as oh, almost all the world, yes, okay. soccer, okay. football, not soccer, football, okay, yes, football. <laughs> Footy, footy. Okay, yeah. Nong, um, have you heard of cricket? Mm, I, ne I have never heard of cricket. No worries, no worries. Guyen. Yeah. Yes, um, you know, I, I have seen some, some people play this uh, cricket. Yeah. You've seen it. Have you played it yourself? No. <laughs> Just see it. Yeah. But you've seen it, you've seen it, that's cool. Yeah. Frank, what about the Italians? Uh, in Italy, it's not a very common sport, and uh, no, I, I don't know it, and I'm, I'm not really into, into it. Into cricket, yeah. I don't so know how to, how to say it. We usually play at school, we play something quick cricket. Do you know this, um, Abdul? Quick cricket. Oh, uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's usually what, what we play. Uh, yeah, because it's a, a bit easier, I guess. Uh, but Esther, and, yep, sorry, and, did, and also, if you can ask question, you know, from uh, the students, did anybody know that uh, who invented the, this game? Okay, I don't actually know myself. Yeah, so who oh come on! <laughs> wait, <Google>. you don't <laughs> know? Wait, 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 wait. Let's find it. So I know who invented rugby and that kind of thing, but wait. Invented. You invented it. The British. The Brit. Oh, I thought you meant a specific person. No, 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 no. I'm talking about. Oh, I knew that. Oh, I knew that. Come on, you know. <laughs> Football, cricket, golf. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just add another one. No, no, no. no but I did. I thought you meant who specifically? Yeah. So, okay, it wasn't an Indian invention, or was it? Was it invented huh? in India or in the UK? Sorry. But now it's more popular in India. Um, so I was wondering if it was invented actually in India, yeah, not no, 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 no. Okay, no. so it was you can... on the green grass of England somewhere, yes, yeah? so somewhere. Exactly. Okay, so has anyone else played this, Esther? Lord's Cricket Ground. You remember the name? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Lord's <laughs> okay, we'll show. We'll introduce cricket quickly to the others, Abdul. Okay. So, Esther, do you know cricket? Uh, no, no, I don't know any uh, cricket. Okay, Abdul, give us the the presentation and maybe a screen set. Share your uh, so share your screen maybe. Show us some pictures. Uh, sure. At Lord's Cricket Ground. Would you ever go, uh, Abdul? At Lord's? Yeah. No, not really. But I wish I can go there. But you have uh, things like this in India as well, yeah? So good cricket grounds. Okay, so Abdul will show us. Do you want to show your screen or shall I share my screen? Uh, let's see. 
I'm trying to search. You're trying to delete your, your naughty pictures, Abdul, yes? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, something is wrong with my browser. No worries. In that case, I can share, share my screen. I'll just show you very, very quickly uh, what this is, okay? So, one second. so, can you see my screen, yes? Can you see my screen? Guys? Yes, yes, we can. Yes. yes. Okay, so yes. this is uh, a cricket pitch. This is Lords, if everyone knows this. Cricket was... In, it's a British sport, originally British sport, but it's taken off more in India now. It's still popular in the UK, but probably I think lots more. It, it's more popular in places like India, Pakistan, Australia. It's a big thing as well. Uh, but it's played with uh, a ball here and like this. Can you see, guys? Yes. Okay. Yes. So you all yes. know know of this sport, yeah? So <laughs> this is like a bat sport, yeah? So a bat sport. Do you know any other sports which are similar to this? Not the same, but similar. It baseball. Bat. Yeah, baseball is baseball. Not, not the same, of course, but it uses a bat, yeah? So baseball. Yeah. Do you all know baseball? This is more popular in America, I think, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So guys, I can hear some background noise. I'm just going to mute some people randomly, okay? Um, okay. In fact, it's gone. Okay, so Slava or Zakaria, do you like bat sports or ball sports? Zakaria, I think you're muted. I think you're muted. Baseball. Okay, uh, which kind of sports uh, so I can understand? Baseball, for example, and cricket are sports that use a bat. Yeah, so I'll show you my screen. A bat is like this thing, this thing. That's a bat. Yeah? Another sport which uses a bat is baseball. Do you know baseball? Yes, I know. Okay. And this is a bat sport. Yeah? So a sport which uses a bat. Uh, but I have to write. Do you like what? bat sports? Bat? Bat. Sorry, sorry. Who? Bat. Bat, yeah, yeah, bat. A bat. A bat. Oh, okay, bat sports. Uh, use the bat. Yeah, a sport which you, yeah, you need the bat. So baseball, uh, cricket, there's also things like school games like rounders. I don't know if you've heard of these. Um, sports which use a bat. For example, golf sports use bat. Yeah, this is all like a bat sport. Yeah, This is a club, so it's a golf club, but it's like a bat. Yeah, similar, similar. Do you yes. like these kinds of sports, or do you prefer ball sports, like football, like rugby? Hmm. Volleyball, basketball. Volleyball. Yeah, basketball. These are the ball sports. Okay, I understand now. Bad sport, ball sports. So what's better for you? Which do you enjoy watching more or playing, a bat sport or a ball sport? Uh, I have never uh, played bat sports in my country. Usually, uh, people like football, basketball, volleyball. Uh, not uh, popular uh, the baseball and cricket. Er everyone knows uh, the baseball. Everyone knows the cricket. But it's not popular to play. And everyone sees the American movie, for yep. example, baseball. Yep. So and American football. So you know of these. So American football would be a ball sport, yes? So it's yes. like, I don't know the rules, Abdul, but it's like rugby, isn't it? But it's rugby, different, yeah. yeah. American it's football is basically rugby. Basically rugby, yeah. They just called it a different name. Yeah, so. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, Slava, do you like, uh, uh, tennis, by the way, is like a racket sport. That's something else. A racket sport is um, tennis, badminton, uh, like even, well, table tennis is kind of like a bat sport, yeah? Um. But... I'd like to tell you, uh, I don't understand this sport, but uh, when uh, girls play in tennis, I like uh, to You like the noises? Uh, uh, usually yes. from Russia, actually, yes? <laughs> usually from Russia and Ukraine, uh, they make the noises. I like I to watch uh, them uh, laying on the sofa. Yeah, yeah that's okay. Uh, yes. on, t on TV. Yeah, so I don't know if you noticed, but at Wimbledon it happens all the time, yes? Yeah? So the women plays... 
Yeah. <laughs> all that kind of thing, yeah? So, okay, so Slava. Uh, yeah. So you prefer a racket I like sport? It. Yes. Okay, cool. Samir, ball sports, bat sports, uh, racket sports, or any other kind of sport? I like, I, I, uh, of course, the first uh, ga uh, game I like uh, football, but I, I'm interested about uh, tennis, ten table tennis. Table tennis, I like table tennis as well, yes. Yeah? Um, table tennis ten is uh, interesting. And are you good? I don't know the rule of this game, but uh, just, yeah, it's just for fun. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, you don't have to play these fun, sports yes. to follow the rules. Just, just for fun, you play this. Uh, but do you like other kind of bat sports or, or racket sports, or would you say just table tennis? Yeah, do you like real tennis or real badminton? No, I don't like. I don't like, uh, and I, I, I don't watch the tennis. No, yeah. So I because the much. Yeah, it is still two hours, three hours. It can take a long time. I feel period. boring. Yeah, it can. I, I usually, we usually have it in the background, yes? So usually it's in the background. We watch it, but not maybe paying full attention. Like a football game, it's like 90 minutes, you know. Well, in theory, it's 90 minutes. Um, but, Osama, what do you prefer? Bat sports, ball sports, uh, racket sports? All these I things? prefer only football. Football. Uh, football. So football. football. <laughs> not rugby. What? Not rugby. I didn't understand. What, what is it? Do you know rugby? Rugby? No, not rugby. I prefer uh, football, as I said. Soccer. Not rugby. Okay, not American football. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. So, football, you're a footy fan. Magoo. Yeah. Okay, what is more interesting to watch or to play? Ball sports, bat sports, or racket sports? Mm, so I think. Some background noise. I'll just mute people for you. Uh, okay, let's go. Uh, oh, Summer, I think that was from you, but uh, unmute yourself when you want to speak, okay? So, Julian, what would you say? Uh, you know, um, in my country, um, some some kind of sports like um, like dance, uh, uh, um, basketball or uh, um, band sports is not popular, so yeah. uh, I just try. Uh, Volleyball and um, football. So ball sports are most popular. Ball sports. Frank, what yeah. about the Italians? Football, right? They're good at. Football. Uh, yes, yes, but uh, <laughs> I am a little bit usual, usual as as Italian because uh, I don't like it and I'm not really into competitive sports. Okay, yeah, uh, but would you play, for example, like um, Samir, something like? Um, table tennis. Okay, so uh, what about things like uh, table tennis and things like this? If you had to choose one to either watch or play, one category, would it be uh, ball sports football, uh, or bat sports? The last one, maybe. Okay, yes. <laughs> The last one, the last one, yeah, okay, cool, no, 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 that's cool. Okay, so Esther, can you follow, can you follow, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, so, uh, did you understand the difference between a bull sport and a bat sport? Did you understand the difference? Uh, yes, the bat, bat sport, like, yeah, see, yes. And which do you prefer? So, ball sports like football, or rugby, or basketball, or bat sports like cricket, um, baseball? Um, I I prefer um, football. So, ball sports. I football. prefer ball sports. Balls, balls, ball ball sports. sports. Okay, that's cool. Yes. And Abdul, I don't need to ask you. Yes, <laughs> that would be a really stupid question, Abdul. Okay, so uh, you prefer bat sports, right? Ab yes. Ab Abdul, yeah? So you prefer Esther, you prefer uh, ball sports. Abdul, you prefer bat sports, right? Yeah, and also <coughs> I like uh, to play um, table tennis, you know? Yeah, I think this is good. I think whoever invented... In fact, who invented that, Abdul? Was it huh. I, uh, French? I don't know about that, but I think maybe chi Chinese people or as who? It would make sense. Let's have a look. Right. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's, yeah, it's called ping pong. Ping pong. It, 
invented in the UK, yeah? So it was invented in the UK again. So table tennis is a, a, a good one. In fact, I remember watching a video about this, yeah? So um, they were saying that they invented it on, on the dining tables. They got bored at some dinner table. I'm trying to remember. Um, at the din dinner table, they, so they played... Uh, they got some kind of bat or something and started playing a game at the dinner table. So table tennis. Yeah, okay. It's, it's a. I mean, it's a perfect indoor game, you know, to burn your calories. I mean, it's a perfect. And you don't have to do too much, yes. Yeah? So you just yeah. you can get energetic. So I like table tennis. I think that's probably one of my favourites. What I like here in Germany is in the parks. I don't know if it's the same in your countries, but they have permanent yeah. table tennis tables. So permanent table tennis tables. Do you know, understand what I mean by permanent? Yeah, permanent mean. Uh, uh, they can put it and remove it as uh, any time they want. No, no, that, that's temporary. No, no, no. That's temporary. Yeah, it's temporary. Permanent, yeah. always there, always there. Yep. They have uh, table tennis tables made of stone in the parks with a like a metal net, so you can play for free all the time in the parks. I've seen here. Yeah. Yep. So I think that's that's quite cool. We don't have that in the UK. Uh, Nukmal, how are you? Hello, Martin. I'm fine, thanks. Cool. Yeah, so we're talking about favorite things. Do you prefer, do you understand the difference between ball sports and bat sports? Sorry, uh, my con internet connection is a bit poor. Can you repeat your question? Sure. Do you prefer ball sports or bat sports? As for me, I prefer ball sport. Like Basketball, football, etc. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, football, cool. and okay. then basketball. And basketball is basketball popular in your country, Nukmal, in Malaysia? Mm, not really. I think uh, football is the most popular sport here in Malaysia, and badminton also. Okay, so badminton things like this, yeah. So no, in China, I think uh, basketball is very popular and stuff, but in America. Also, basketball's popular. I used to like basketball, but it wasn't so so popular to follow NBA and stuff 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 like that. So, okay, so um, okay, when you were at school, what was your favourite subject, Zachariah? Did you have a favourite subject at school? Uh, favourite subject? What does mean? For example. Okay. Does anyone know? Apart from Abdul, yeah, apart from Abdul. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess I know. Yes. Okay, That's not fair. <laughs> Sorry, Abdul. <laughs> okay, Slava, do you know? Yeah, so I, this is democracy, actually. Yeah, so we should everyone should have a right to to voice. Okay, so uh, Slava, do you know what a subject is? Uh, you mean subject in school? Yeah. So, what kind of subjects are there at school? Uh, you asked me about my favorite subject at school. But could you explain what a subject is for Zecharia? What is a subject? Give me some examples. Uh, for a subject at school, for example, are uh, math or physics or uh, chemist. Zecharia, did you understand? Literature. Yeah. I understood Perfect. now. Okay, so things you do at school, subjects. This is the. Yes, uh, okay, Zachariah. Uh, okay. Yes, uh, my favorite uh, subject, uh, maths. Was maths. Is it still maths? Do you yes. still like it or just at school? Was maths, yes. Was maths, okay. And I why... like numbers. Okay, because you like numbers. Were you good at maths? Uh, How good were you? Uh, because uh, I was, I liked to solve the problem. When I solve a problem, uh, I was happy. So you like to solve problems, uh, maths problems and things like that, yeah? So yes. That, yeah, so that, that's good. Slava, what would you say, what was your favorite subject at school? Uh, my favorite subject at school was the same. This is maths. Uh, I was uh, pretty good in maths and I took part in school uh, Olympiads and uh, region Olympiads from math. So you're good at maths. Uh, I was good at maths. Yeah? I enjoy at 
I was I was good at math, math. and uh, I like uh, math. Uh, I, I like math uh, nowadays, and uh, I help my son to uh, salute to salute um, to solve uh, so his um, so math. Uh, to solve, mm -hmm. so to solve uh, his maths uh, uh, homework. Okay, to do you help him? I to help do... him every day. So I help him to do his homework. Yeah. So I help him with his homework. You yes. Say. With his homework. Okay. So and, I help uh, him with his homework. And uh, his uh, uh, homework still uh, easy for me today. At the moment, yeah, at the moment. At the moment. Uh, yeah, okay, at the moment, yeah, but may maybe it gets hard, maybe it gets hard. Okay, so, Samir, yeah, what was your favorite subject? Uh, when I was younger, I, I like, uh, I, I am good in uh, all the subjects, but I enjoy in a geography class. Ge geography? Geography, yes. Cool. Like geography. geography. Does everyone know geography? Yeah. Of course, geography is a... Uh, you understand? It's a science of uh, places and uh, countries and... Uh, Things like this, yes? Yeah? So to do with yeah. places, locations, stuff. Esther, was that clear? Do you know geography? Esther? Y um, yes. Do you understand geography? Yes. Perfect, cool. Okay, so Samir, why did you like geography um, and why this com uh, over other subjects? Uh, because I, don't, I, I would like to know the other countries. I like to know the, the weather in this country and the, the, the you know, the capital city of this country, like that. I would like to know about okay. other countries. So I'm curious about other countries, you can say, yeah? So I'm curious yes. about other countries. So you like geography and stuff? Yes, okay, this, this is just... So I'm curious yes. about other countries. Summer, what about you? What was your favorite subject? For me, it was always and it always will be literature and philosophy. Literature and what, sorry? And philosophy. Philosophy, cool. Did you yeah. do philosophy at school? Well, yes, we do. We do it in high school. It's an uh, obli obligated uh, subject in the final year in high school. So I fell, in, I fell in love with it that year with all the philosophers and all the thinkers we studied about. Okay, and why do you like philosophy? Yeah? So what about this? Are you a very philosophical person? I can never no. say that philosophical. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Maybe I want why to Why are we alive, Osama? Can you ask Exactly. Me? This question is what I'm asking myself every morning. <laughs> why, why are we okay. yes. doing the What's teeth? The Am what I really doing my teeth? Do my teeth exist? <laughs> exactly. Okay, let's well, this enough. Yeah. Well, so so many people look at, look at it like this. This is just a uh, wasting of time. Why are we? Well, I find it it's a, it's very very something deep if we think in it. I mean, why? What's the purpose? The, I, I I know it's something uh, we do it every day. It's something. It's life. But there is something behind it, and okay. I like to think about it. Yeah. We are gonna have a philosophy class. Okay. Maybe later today. Um, if you can join, that'd be cool. Yeah. So. I'll Upload that. That's a good idea. Okay, so for advanced students and for intermediate as well, you're all welcome, but maybe this will be difficult. So uh, we have a philosophy class. I think that's cool. Okay, so because uh, I have no idea. But Nukmal, what would you say? What was your favorite subject? My favorite subject were my high school years. Um, I like history and physics. Okay, and why not philosophy? Why not? <laughs> yeah, because I I didn't. I mean, I'm in a science school, so I don't. <clears throat> I didn't learn it at school about uh, something like that, philosophy. Okay. Yeah. So, are you sure you didn't learn philosophy? How can you prove it? No, I'm joking. Okay. So, um, <laughs> yeah, we we didn't have these classes either, but yeah, you could choose them. You could choose them later on and stuff. Okay. So yeah. you're, you're a technical person. Mm -hmm. You're well. Cool. Okay. Sorry, what? I'm, I'm, a, in, I'm in the science stream class. So you're a scientific, more technical person, yeah? 
Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, it's interesting. Okay, so the uh, Sorry, I will try to learn your name properly one day, please. Okay, sorry, sorry, Nguyen. So, what would you say? What was your favorite subject at school? Uh, you know, um, my favorite subject in high school is uh, biology. Biology, okay. Um, Why biology? Yeah. Do you like to cut well, up animals? You know, you know, I want, I want to be a doctor, and now I'm a medicine student now. Okay, yeah, so it links really, really well to what you want to do in the future and things. So you like biology. Yeah. What was the yes, most uh, interesting biology class you had? Yeah, so uh, did you ever have to cut up animals? Bise I think it's bisect. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, because, you know, uh, we have to practice as level and we have to practice uh, before we go to hospital to practice. We, we practice as level. Libraries, yeah. So have some animal we cut is and <laughs> maybe we uh, lovely, on, uh, lovely, on, on lovely some animal. <laughs> yum yeah. yum yum. Okay, Frank. <laughs> what about you? Okay, I'll tell you, okay. Matt, Frank. What's your favorite subject? Indeed, I was good in drawing and painting. So art um, subjects and stuff. Actually, later I would become a graphic designer and an illustrator. But uh, okay. I had to change my job a few years ago. No, okay. later. Yeah, later. Later. You're a creative, yeah. So you're like um, Osama, yes. So kind of like a. Are you a philosopher? Are artists all philosophers? <laughs> well, Frank, are you are you a philosopher? Um, uh, yes, <laughs> I guess so. Okay. I'm so glad I found someone like you, like me. <laughs> oh, Summer, are you an artist? Well, sometimes I write. I write like short stories and kind of uh, little poems. So I'm not. I you consider are, myself a li little artist. A li yeah. Just a little artist. Okay, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, so you are creative. Okay, that's interesting. And Esther, what was your favorite subject? Well, um, when I was uh, at school, um, I. I was good in in chemis. chemistry. Chemistry, chemistry. 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 My favorite. Chem chemistry. 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 Yeah. Chemistry. Okay. Chemistry. I'll write this down. Chemistry. So you're also a scientist, like uh, Nukmal, yeah. So chemistry. Ah, chemistry. Okay. And quickly, Abdul. What's no, your no, my, my Martin. My favorite subject. No, I was just saying, I love philosophy and literature, though my speciality in uh, university now is uh, hydrocarbons. I'm oh, totally that's different. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's different, yes, that's a bit, yeah. yeah that's, so you have the big mix of both. Yeah, but Abdul, what do you say your favorite subject is? My favorite subject is economics. Economics, yeah, I could, I could uh, guess this. Yeah, I could guess this. So in the, in, at school, we had subjects like well, we had a, our school was performing arts because each school is specialised. So we had to do things like music, extra drama class, things like this. So I like this, but also things like uh, economics and business studies. We had to do this as well. So a bit of music and a bit of economics, yeah. So that was what I liked. But anyway, guys, um, I've got another lesson straight after this. So if you like, please feel free to join. Um, but if not, good to meet some new faces: Slava and Zakaria, etc., um, and of course Esther. And the rest, I think I know you all, yeah? So take care, guys, and hopefully speak to you again. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you very much.